From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's your afternoon news brief for the midpoint of the week. The Kentucky State Police Richmond Post is conducting a death investigation following a fire that occurred last night at a home in Irvine. KSP Post 7 was contacted by Estill County 911 requesting assistance with the investigation after the Irvine Fire Department located human remains while extinguishing the fire on Covey Road. The remains have been taken to the State Medical Examiner's Office in Frankfort for an autopsy and the cause of the fire remains under investigation. Richmond police recently responded to a Michelle Drive residence in regards to a domestic violence call. When officers arrived, they made contact with the victim who was standing outside of the home. They advised police that the suspect, Elisha Souter, would not come out of the house. The victim went on to say that Souter had struck them in the back of their head and neck while they were holding a child. Authorities could not observe any physical injuries, but the victim stated that they were in pain. After making numerous attempts to contact Souter, he finally exited the residence and told police that the victim had refused to communicate with him, which caused him tension and stress. He also admitted to striking the victim in the back of the head and neck. Souter was arrested and charged with fourth degree assault for domestic violence. The election is fast approaching, and a new poll shows the gubernatorial race in a dead heat. According to the results, Governor Matt Bevin and Andy Bashir are in a virtual tie just weeks before Kentuckians cast their ballots. Both men are reportedly tied at 46 percent among likely voters. Bashir, the state's current attorney general, is a Democratic candidate who is trying to unseat the GOP incumbent Governor Bevin. The poll showed Bashir ahead in the Louisville and Lexington metro areas. However, Bevin shows better numbers in the eastern, western, and northern regions of the Commonwealth. And WBONTV is gearing up for the Halloween season, and we decided to visit one of Richmond's most historic landmarks, the Irvin McDowell House. We spoke with the event programmer for Parks and Recs, Mason Chambly, who gave us all the details about the amazing yet tragic history of the structure and the people that lived there. He tells us that multiple people died on the property, including a handful of children. Stay tuned to WBON TV for more spooky stories like this and watch the video which is up now. For more stories such as these, always be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.